Okay, now we're going to use these pieces shown here to make the claw part of the crane. And we have three thick members, three thinner members. This is the main body. We should have nine machine screws with nuts. These are three quarters of an inch long. This is a rectangular part where the motor attaches to. Uh, and this, uh, this is the motor, which we've set up before. This is the lead screw, which will attach to the end of the motor, but don't attach this until the very end because once you once you fix it, it's very difficult to get back out. And then uh, this is where the lead screw is going to attach to at the very end. So we're going to assemble this part first. Next, turn it over, take the lead screw and make it about halfway, and then with the whole, pit, the whole pointing up, place it in, and then glue the outside edge of the nut. and you can just let that dry. This is the motor mount. Take a ruler and add creases to uh, where indicated in red. Next use the uh, two one centimeter long M3 screws to attach the small motor and the inside of these holes are threaded, so you don't need nuts on the other end. Next we assemble the claw. Next we'll assemble the base like that.
where we have holes here, that's going to mount to the end of the arm. So we want to increase the size of those holes. Here. And here. Next we want to mount the motor to the base. So we feed everything through. And now we attach the motor to the end of the lead screw. Like so. Now we can attach the claws. And there's two of them. Next we put this back on. Next, you want to glue this part somewhere in the middle, around here. You want to apply glue to three sides so that it's fixed. And this motor will spin and open and close the claw. The claw. 